All right, so there is a stupid feud unfolding um, between a New York Times columnist and a couple of celebrities that we just had to bring you here because it actually is really interesting and says a whole lot about the moment that we are living in. Yes. So bear with me as I explain this. Allison Roman, who's the Times like star food columnist, went on, uh, d- did an interview where she talked about Chrissy Teigen and also Marie Kondo. Yes. Marie Kondo is Spark Joy. I actually really like her book. And uh, Chrissy Teigen, obviously celebrity and also, you know, cookbook and line yes. at Target and all this stuff. And essentially, Allison Roman said some pretty accurate things about the way that they have both capitalized on their ethos in order to cash in. So of Marie Kondo, whose whole thing is like, get rid of the stuff that doesn't give you joy. Like, go through all your things and pare it down and get rid of the stuff. We've all got too much stuff. She's now selling, you know, tuning forks for $75, an organic meditation floor cushion for $169, <laughs> French flax hypoallergenic linen uh, kimono robe, $115, etc. cetera, et cetera. A zen egg. Yes. 40, that's my favorite. Right. That's so goop stuff. Right. Yeah. So, Al- so yeah. Roman had said, I need to figure out how to turn this into money straight up um, and went after Condo saying she decided to capitalize on her fame. Same thing with uh, Chrissy Teigen. She said she, boom, got a line at Target. Boom, has an Instagram page that has over a million followers where it's just like people running a content farm for me. Mm. This horrifies me and it's not something that I ever want to do. I don't aspire to that, but like who's laughing now because she's making a ton of effing money. Okay. Fair. I mean, Interesting. I don't anything wrong with it. A little spicy, yeah, yeah. right? I think it's kind of funny. People got deeply offended because, first of all, these are like, you know, two type of people that, for whatever reason, you're, you're not supposed to criticize them. Mm-hmm. And also because it was two Asian women. So it was seen as racially insensitive. So now, here's the latest development. Yes. New York Times has suspended her, uh-huh. put her on temporary leave. Won't say why, but pretty clear why, right? right. Um, and what's funny is that Chrissy Teigen, who was upset about all of this and called Alison mm. Roman out, which is her right to do. Like, sure. yeah. yeah, you're right Somebody to be offended. Somebody takes a shot at you, you Yeah, take you take a shot back, back. sure. Even Chrissy Teigen is not happy about the New York Times suspending her. She tweeted this down, if we can put yeah. this up on the screen. I hope we can laugh about this one day, but I am not happy with the New York Times leave, so she definitely can't laugh about it yet. It just sucks in every way. Well said, Chrissy. Oh, this whole thing, it makes me so... So many levels. So I didn't actually know all that much until you brought it up, um, because I try explicitly not to listen to anything about like this. (laughs) And it is so foolish, because... They're turning this into a race thing. There's nothing racial about it. It's ludicrous. And actually, apparently, Alison Roman, this is according to page six, had to, quote, acknowledge her white privilege in her criticism of the uber-rich Chrissy Teigen and, Al- and, uh, and also Marie now Kondo. And uber-rich Marie Kondo. And, Marie, uh, and fine. What, I mean, these are celebrities. They're not like vaunted, you know, like gods that we're not allowed to criticize. This is ludicrous. She said it was stupid and careless incentive. I need to learn and respect the difference between unfiltered and honest versus being uneducated and flip it. Now, look, I probably wouldn't have said what she said, but that doesn't mean she deserves to lose her job. I have no problem with what she said. It was kind of a capitalist yeah. critique, yeah, honestly. Like, I mean, I don't see how this has anything to do with the fact that they're Asian. It has nothing to do with I don't. I just don't. I mean, literally, like, yeah. look, I, racism is a real thing. Anti-Asian race, like, that is a real thing. When you read into something like this, which is just a critique, actually, of, like, the commodification of literally everything, including the commodification of getting rid of stuff, that is a totally valid critique. And so when you try to read racism into something like this, you just utterly cheapen the term for when it is real and when it truly exists. Yeah, and you know, the person who interviewed Roman said that, I want to set the record unequivocally straight. Allison was not mocking an Asian accent when she said anything to me, and any claim that she was is incorrect. And it goes to show you how vapid and insensitive and stupid all of this celebrity stan culture of them uh, against each other and trying to can, I mean, even the whole like, cancel thing. I am very, you know, I am very skeptical almost entirely of always these claims because I think people are always claiming victimization on either side. But this actually is messed up. I mean, this woman, Alice Roman, who as I understand is a very successful, she writes a lot of recipes, cookbooks, whatever. She seems very famous in her own right. Um, is is getting canceled or have putting put on leave for accurately describing the situation of two people who are also in her industry. 
Is she really not allowed to do that? I mean, right. the whole thing is absolutely, completely ridiculous. And it shows how fragile and stupid the people most in charge of our elite culture actually are. Well, and also that the Chrissy Teigen, who is the mm -hmm. wronged party right. here, was like, "Hey, stop!" Was doing like, this. this is yeah. no, like, right. this sucks. This just makes things worse. <laughs> Should tell you everything that you yeah. need to know. So, all right, tomorrow on Rising, The Intercept's co-founding editor Glenn Greenwald reacts to the revelations about Michael Flynn's case, the Obama administration's role in it. He always has some thoughts <laughs> to share with us. David Stern is also going to analyze New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's response to the pandemic and how his disputes with New York City mayor might have led to more lives being lost. So you see both of those interviews and don't miss a thing. Don't forget to subscribe. Also like and share so that others find these videos too. Appreciate you all. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.